Tom Metcalf posted a question on the Joomla page on Facebook. He asked for an extension or a plugin that op automatically optimizes his images that are uh, uploaded into an article. So what he actually wants is that when you upload a big picture, for example, with your uh, smartphone, that it scales down and actually um, scales down the, the number of pixels of the image so that the file size reduces. Um, I pointed him to JCE, which he already buys, that has a very good um, advanced image editor, which has all these features built in. Uh, but he didn't know how to enable this, so I'm going to show it in this small video tutorial. So I just created a default um, Joomla site, and I created a, a user blogger. I already created the, the profile, so first I'm going to show where I end up, and then I'm going to create the same profile with, with you. So I create a blogger. I'm going to submit an article. Okay, just nice trip, nice trip. We had a great ride. in our VW during the last road trip. And now I just obviously want to add a picture. So I'm adding the picture here. Uh, okay, I'm gonna upload it. I'm gonna upload the picture. I'm gonna browse it. So here I have this like a very big picture, uh, 9.4 megabytes. So it's really 5K over it's a lot of lot, lot, lot of megabytes, nine megabytes. It has to create a thumbnail too, and I'm gonna upload it, and it will automatically turn into a picture of this size. So it will become from nine megabytes, 130 kilobytes. So this was exactly what uh, we wanted. And I'm gonna actually put in the thumbnail. So what happens if I click on the thumbnail? I'll add a pop-up to the image. Come on. Hey, what's happening here? Uh, small car. And he asks, do I want to use the thumbnail? Yes. I won't touch anything else. It's okay, so I had I have my article. As you see, it's already formatted as I uh, prepared it in, in my settings. It has like this border that I configured. Okay, it's a matter of taste. It's not really uh, optimized graphically, but I just put a color in it, a border with three. I aligned it to the right. I, I added some margin. I'm gonna save it. And now uh, I have to approve it because it's only a blogger. So I'm going to make the content page articles. I'm gonna approve it. And I'm gonna put it in the front page. I'm going to my start page, and as you see, it's visible already. So if I click on the image now, this is really great. I have pop-up, it's only 800 wide because I, I set it like that. And it has this great watermark. So as soon as anybody uploads a picture, it's watermarked in one, in one move. If you have more, you could ev even make a gallery of it. These are some settings that you can tweak. So this is what we're gonna do now. So we're gonna add some formatting. We're gonna uh, configure it this way that a user can't screw it up and you, you hide the settings. Okay, so what are we going to do? So in, inside of JCE, we, we, we can work with different profiles. So here I created my crew as a profile. So you, you, you can start from whichever one you want. So I started from the, the blogger profile, but you could use the default too. So I'm gonna make a copy of this one, copy. I always work with a copy, that way um, I'm safe. There's a small bug if you create a copy that it, it the original moves up. Okay. So now I'm, I'm gonna rename it demo profile. And I'm gonna assign this only to the front end, not to the back end, not to, not to phones, not to tablets. And I'm only gonna assign this to authors. So everybody who has a higher profile will automatically get the, the better profile or the most more advanced one. Uh, so I'm gonna save it for now. Not, not, 
because I don't want to lose anything. It's not enabled yet, so I have to enable it too. I almost forgot that one. Save. And now I'm going to the features and layout. And here I'm gonna tweak a little bit. First off, I won't allow them to go to see the source code. And uh, I also don't think they need the editor path. No. So I, I, I simplified this a, a whole lot. Okay, now we have all these buttons here. First off, I'm gonna get rid of almost everything. So I don't need fonts. I don't need font sizes. I don't want them to, to change all this junk. Uh, I don't need the help. I don't need the new article button. Undo, well, I'll put this in the advanced features. I don't need, think they need strike through. Uh, no, justifi no, 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 no justified uh, formatting. Block quote, yeah, sure. Uh, they can format stuff, so they can put a header one, header two, header three, etc. They can use some file styles if, if, if I configure them. And they can remove the formatting or they can clean up the code. But I'll put this in the advanced section. And I'll add this, this item here to the end of my first line. This is, well, I call it the kitchen sink. So if you push this button, it will hide or show everything that's below it. So this is, then, then you get by default a very simple menu. And if you need advanced features, you can pop it open and you get a lot, a lot more. So I'm going to add some more features here. I'm going to add this advanced image editor because that's something we often use. I'm going to remove the normal ima image editor. I'm going to add the links features because this is quite important. And actually, I'm going to also add the file manager because I like that one. So I'm going to add the media manager if, if I have it. Uh, do I need some more buttons here? No, I don't need this line. It's simplified already. Uh, full size, sure, they can have that. Uh, preview, no. Source code, no. Print, search and replace. Put this in the advanced line. I don't need them to, to, to create tables and stuff. Okay, so now we have like a pretty simplified change upper lowercase. We don't need that. Uh, I'm going to restyle it a little bit. Okay, so this is my current setup for the buttons. Now I'm going to the editor parameters. Here I can change a few things too, but I'm not going to touch on this for this uh, small, small workshop because now I want to show you how you can use this advanced image manager to tweak stuff. So I'm going to set some default settings. First off, I'm going to ch change the upload file size, the maximum, to uh, 20 megabytes. This is a really big picture already. So now, now they can, you, this user can upload pictures up to 20 megabytes. And they can use these file formats. The default values. Now I'm going to set some default values. Five pixels margin. As, as you see, I can even tweak it. That I, I I don't want I don't want any margins at the right because I'm going to align it to the right, and I want to enable a border, a five pixel border or even just a three pixel border. Solid line. I'm I'm going to go some somewhere dark bluish. Okay, apply. I'm, I'm going to align it to the right, uh, and I can go tweak every all kinds of, of uh, aspects. So now I'm going to change some uh, advanced features. I don't want my user to see the roll over tab because I'm not going to use this. I don't want him to see the advanced tab. I don't want to allow him to change the dimensions or the alignment or the margins or the borders. So I don't want him to be able to change this. He can upload files. He can create folders, but he cannot delete them. He cannot rename them because it could break um, compatibility. He cannot delete files. He can't cop copy, cut, copy, paste. He can't rename files. He can't, etc. So you, you can tweak all these sizes, upload, resize options. I don't want him to to be able to to change this, but I do want it, the program to to set the state so that he he will have to to scale them down. I don't want to be him to be able to 
to change the options for the thumbnails, but I want thumbnail to be generated. They don't have to be cropped. I don't want uh, him to use the image editor or the thumbnail editor. He can insert multiple images to have a gallery if he wants to. And we're gonna, uh, yeah, this is just inline upload. So he, um, and now I'm gonna see how, how it, it lists. Now they show a, as a list, but you could also uh, show them as images. This is just some, some features. Um, what size will I scale the images to? Maximum size 800 on 800. He will then, and uh, I, I could even even s uh, reduce the quality of the JPEG uh, slightly. Uh, the crop image, I want the cropped image to be 200 maximum. And s uh, size 80, okay. And I have some prefixes here. I want to use Im image magic if available, yes. Default upload state. Uh, I want a watermark to be put on my images. So I don't want to, to show the option, but I want to have the text copyright my great blog. I could change the font if I want to, but it's, it's only limited. So I put in bold and I will put it to the bottom right, but you can put it wherever you want, as you see. You can add some opacity, add some margin. And pop-ups, I will by default use the JCE media pop-up. So I will leave this one enabled, turn off this one. <coughs> Excuse me. So now I could add a group. So if you if you want to use a gallery, um, I could you say, this is my uh, images image list as a group. Pop-up icon, yes. I can position to the top left, for example. Auto pop-up, you could have this auto automatically have, have happen once or every time you load the page, but I won't touch this for now. I want to hide the pop-up link. Um, I want to set the media type, well, it's image, but uh, if, if, if it changes, you, you, you can uh, play with this, of course. Okay, so now I have set some, a whole lot of uh, settings save and close. I'm gonna disable my crew just to, to make sure that this one is will, will be uh, triggered by uh, our profile. So now I'm gonna log out again. Uh, blogger, blogger. Okay, I'm going to pexels.com for a great free image. Well, let's start right this one here. Oh, let's stay in, in the summer holiday sphere. Okay, I'm gonna download it at uh, original size. So it's quite a big picture as you see. It's really big, 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 big. So it's not something we want to have on our, on our page. Um, couple bedroom love kissing. It's just kind of saved under the same name. And now I'm gonna have a new art. I'm gonna create a new article, submit an article. Tender moments with my girlfriend. Um, the bed was really comfy. The airco was all we needed. And so now I'm gonna add my picture. You remember my, uh, so I'm gonna upload it. I, I could just drag it in, but uh, so it was a couple of 8.8 .8 megabytes open it I'm gonna upload it it goes quite fast as you see now it's scaled down to and instead of 8 megabytes it's only 250 megabytes so this is the one I could add more if I want to but I'm gonna uh, I never tried this before, so I'm gonna insert two pictures. Oh, look, it even inserts two pictures. This is handy. Uh, save. Okay, this is just an error because I didn't configure uh, the mail, mail uh, administration on my uh, host. Content article manager. I'm gonna remove this one. 
add this one, enable it, and see what this gives. F5. Okay. So now if I pop up, as you see, it creates a slideshow with a, a, a watermark. I had some different settings for, for my first user. And uh, as you see, it, uh, it just works. And uh, this is how you can easily do, do this kind of tricks in JCE. Uh, I hope uh, it was clear for you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them underneath on the YouTube page. And uh, have fun using Joomla and JCE. Bye.